We got Silkeborg up next in the UEFA Conference League. And, you know, it's a game that is of lesser importance than the other Conference League games for us at this point. Because although a loss wouldn't be great, obviously, we are at least still going to go through into the next round. I think we just need a point in this game to secure top spot in the group. And then we're settled and we don't have to go through the first round of the playoffs. And that's a really good thing um, for us. Um, the main talking point going into this game is that Naya Faguer could finally make his debut for West Ham United. He's been sidelined for a long time now and he started training, getting gradually back into a fully fit state. And he's in contention to be on the team sheet tomorrow. That's really exciting because there's so much hype about the Moroccan defender. I want to see him play in Claret and Blue. And I want to see how he can make a difference in our defence. Um, <clears throat> they're saying that he's as good as what he is. A ball-playing centre-back who feeds off well with some dribbling skill. We've got a good defender here. He's 26 years old and he's here, I think, for the long run. Um, Aguerd... Had a very good pre-season, as I said in the previous video. And it was just so typical that he got injured in pre-season. It was just such a West Ham thing to happen. But now he's full back into full fitness, we're good. The downside is that Corne seems like he's going to be out for another couple of weeks. I don't think he's coming back anytime soon, to be honest. Um, but that's a very good thing as well. David Moyes has talked about um, the multilingualism in the dressing room going into the game. He's talked about how he's able to communicate with the players a lot better, how Aguer and Skamaka speak really good English, how Thomas Suchet now speaks really good English <clears throat> and took less than six months before he moved to West Ham. Talking about how Saeed Ben Rama understands it very well and is putting in good performances as a result. Um, there's a lot to talk about in his pre-game press conference. Uh, he talked about getting the results back and he had a lot of praise for Silkeborg. Um, it's a team that's done quite well in the Danish top flight, even though it's not a huge club by stature, it is punching above its weight for the most part. And Moyes, I give him respect for talking about that. It's always good to respect your opponent, and he did just that. Uh, he talked about a Skamaka and Altovic comparison. Um, you can see some similar traits in terms of their attitude and bolshiness, but with Skamaka, we really do have the complete forward. <coughs> and Moyes says that Skamaka's got a lot more to give, but we're seeing a lot of promise. And that's a good thing as well. Um, but yeah, the main thing for me is I just want to see um, Aguer in action. I really do. And then I think we can say, mm, this guy's good. This guy's good. And we'll see a stronger defensive link. With Aguer and Zuma, you've got good communication as both speak French. And um, two players who have the strength and physicality to form a solid uh, centre-back partnership. Um, look, the Silkeborg game, I think we'll play a mixture of our B team and A team. And who knows, we just need to get a point at the very least. So get the job done, but a point is going to be okay. It's not like I don't care about the result, I'm just saying I, I don't want us to lose and get something out of this just to secure our status in the next round finally and uh yeah we'll see how we go from there because we've only got one more group stage game left i believe after this and that's in romania next week that's caused a few problems uh, with tickets but until then uh let's enjoy the last home game of the conference league group stage Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to sub for more content. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.